Hi, good morning, you guys. I am trying to find the remote. This TV is so loud. It has been a hot minute since I picked up the vlog camera, and it is time. I pre-recorded some videos of when we met baby. Um, if you missed those, the birth vlog, what else? Bringing home baby and baby's first week are linked in the description box below. I have kids coming from every which door right now. What are you doing? Good morning. Did you bring me the food and water? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna, oh. Where did you find this? No. This juice? I think that's from yesterday. You left it outside. Since I haven't picked up the vlog camera in a while, I have so much to fill you guys in on. Ren is four weeks old as of Tuesday. So a couple days ago, she's four weeks old. That is wild to me. And officially like a month old tomorrow on the second. But I thought we're gonna take you along for a day in the life now being a mom of four on my own, solo parenting. Justin's out of town, pretty much in hotels all summer long. You only get to see him Sundays. And then he has to leave Sunday night anyways to go to work bright and early Monday morning. That is my life all summer long. The boys officially started T-ball, so we have a game tonight. And my mom and dad are gonna be taking Emery, so I only have to watch the boys and Ren because it does get pretty late at night. So that is really nice that they're helping with Emery. She goes down for bed at six o'clock anyways, so that's just nice to have her be put down for bed and not have to stay up late. So. Let's get outside, we gotta do animal chores. Ren is sleeping, I will show you her in a second. She's just so stinking cute over there in the swing. And um, yeah, chores, water the garden, fill you in a little bit on other things that have been happening. The sweet little thing, sleep in. I just nursed her, so she should be sleeping for the next two and a half hours. Putting this away. Look at this house, you guys. It's not too bad, but we need to pick this up sometime today. And all the dishes. We let the baby chicks out with the big hens now, so they're all together. The big hens have been pretty nice to them, so we haven't had any fighting lately. Look at how little these ones are though. Here's the big ones for reference, and then here's the little ones. Hi, mamas. Hi. See if there's some eggs. I've got a couple laying here. So I'll collect eggs later once they're off of them. There's two there. If you guys remember, this pen right here was the pig pen. And now that they are freezer meat, we had this open pen. Justin cleaned it out. And because these chickens will get into my garden, <laughs> we moved the boxes back here. And I just love, come on baby. I just love that it's away from everything and it's actually working really, really good. Yeah, good job. All we needed to do to like reinforce was we put this wire netting on the outside of the hog panel because look at how big these squares are. That was all the way down and the chickens could come in and out. But now putting up that fencing on the outside, they can't get in. And yeah, so I have four boxes here and then the hog wire trellis. Here we have marigolds, two, I think these, what are they? Oh, the Roma tomatoes, right there, those two. Um, bell peppers, sweet bell peppers. Over here, this is cauliflower, I believe, three cauliflowers. More marigolds planted in here. I seeded, um, which one was it? I have cucumber on one side and pole beans on the other. I don't remember which one. And then this is a vining flower. Same as over here. It'll vine up over the trellis. Like I said, it's either pole beans or cucumber on, I don't know. I don't remember. I should have tagged it. And then I have three right here, but this one looks pretty dead to me of broccoli. So I will have to get a new one of that and fix that situation. Over here, these two are beefsteak tomatoes. I have marigolds everywhere. And these two are, Emery, no, no. Don't touch, please. Mine. These two are squash. I don't remember what kind of squash. Oh, butternut squash. The gnats are so bad. 
I don't know in your area, you'll have to let me know if the bugs are bad this early summer too, but holy moly, the mosquitoes are huge. The gnats are everywhere. It doesn't matter how much bug spray you put on. They're just, they're everywhere. Girls, come on. Uh, Need your puppies. Yeah. Okay, let's go feed them. Go inside. Oh, and there's Russell. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Oliver, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Come show us what you have. Who is that? Goldie. Goldie. This one is a, what is it called? Gold laced white net. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's so pretty. Look at the Goldie feathers. Goldie net. Our little escapee. Bye. Bye. I swear, anytime I come in from being outside, the kids want to just follow me inside. Well, the first thing they go to is to grab a snack. The boys have been out of school for like three days and the amount of snacks we're already going through is ridiculous. The kids just don't want to eat their meals and they just want to snack all day. That is not happening. They I need to cut back on the snacks. So I send them outside with some water. They're going to go play again. I'm going to get these dishes done. Just pick up the house a little bit for my sanity. I just don't thrive in a messy house. So we're going to get this done. Hopefully the kids stay outside for a little bit. Our house is just like swarming with flies already too because they are in and out of the house a million times a day. And this is just the start of summer. Emma, you're being nice. Hi, yeah, we gotta be careful, Kay. You're so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, you know that. Hi, baby Ren. Can you go give me a diaper? Uh. Thank you. Is that for baby? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, are we your babies? Uh, yeah, you are my babies. <laughs> Lane is the first baby, then you are the second baby, 
Emery was the third baby, and Ren's the fourth baby. Is that pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who's your baby? I have four babies. Yeah. Lane, Grady, Emery, and Ren. And Daddy. <laughs> yeah, Daddy can be my fifth baby sometimes. I put Emery down for a nap. Usually around 11 we have lunch, and sometimes she likes to eat before nap or after nap. Well, today she was not having it. So I put her down for a nap a little bit early. I just nursed this sweet baby. And I'm gonna get the boys some lunch here soon. They're just still watching their show while I fed her. But I wanna give you guys a little update. So since my last video I posted, we had her one week checkup and they confirmed that she had a tongue tie. Well, that night I, decided I was just gonna do the exercises like I showed you guys and um, wasn't gonna go through with the revision of the tongue tie until that night. I was up crying in bed, you know, the times that she woke up, I nursed her and it was just so painful. Well, I was able to get a consultation the next day. So it was like meant to happen, I feel like. I had to drive pretty far for the consult, but it was fine. The doctor I met with, um, it was a pediatric dentist actually. She was amazing, so just down to earth. Her kids had revisions and it just made me feel really comfortable. You guys, I swear, I cried more than she did. It was just, it was so hard to do, to decide what to do, but she confirmed. Um, she has a little mouth in general, but between a little mouth, she had a tongue tie and a lip tie. All three of those just combined, not a good latch at all. It was just, like I said, very painful. So I FaceTimed Justin as I was in there, you know, crying to him, not knowing what to do. He's at work and he's, you know, just like, if you want a nurse, you need to at least try it to know if it works or not, or if, you know, if that's the problem or not. So instead of doing both of them, cause they advised us to do the tongue and the lip tie together, but my mama heart could not take that. So we just did the tongue tie and left the lip tie. And she was at that time a week and two days old. And they always told me, you know, get it done sooner the better. And within a day and a half, you guys, she was nursing so much better. Her mouth was able to open bigger and just her latch in general was like night and day difference. And the whole reason I didn't really want to do it is because I heard so many mixed reviews if it helped with the latch at all. And I'm just so happy to say that it worked. And now it's been three and a half weeks since that. Maybe three weeks. Yeah, three weeks, a little, a little under. Um, but it's completely healed now. They took a laser to it, so it like burned it. It turns white. And we had to do exercises every four hours for like four weeks. And I did the one week like follow up with them and it was pretty much healed then. So she said I could back down to like every six hours doing it and once it turns pink again and it's healed, you don't have to do it anymore. So I haven't done it in the last two days, no exercises for her tongue time. And it's just, oh, it's like a blessing that I did it and I was so stuck on I wasn't gonna do it. Very excited that it worked for her. I know it doesn't work for everybody, but thankful it did for her because being our fourth baby, our final baby, I did not want to have to bottle feed her. I know um, some people have to, but I'm just lucky enough that I can nurse her and will just exclusively nurse as long as I can. I just wanted to give you guys that update because I had a lot of people comment on, you know, if they did or didn't do it. And I was just so wishy-washy on what I was gonna do anyways, but that's how it all went down. I was in more tears than she was. She really didn't cry a whole lot at all. And it was quick and easy. I think they took her out of the room for like less than five minutes. It was in out. I was on the phone with my mom telling her what was going on and they came in the room in like two seconds after I got on the phone with her to explain what was happening. So we couldn't really talk about what was going on because she was in and out so fast. I cannot believe she's four weeks old. Yeah, two days ago she was four weeks, but technically a month old tomorrow on the second. It's just crazy. My sweet girl. Mm. I want 
it's a bit for these. So we scooch these and I'm like this and put it right here. You already done? Yeah. Why? Hi, baby. It's your baby. Yeah. Say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Can you eat more? Got cheese, cucumber. I gave her some ham. Do you want some raspberries? Yeah. You want some raspberries? While Emery was napping, I closed my eyes with, ran on my chest here on this chair, and the boys were watching a show. But now waking up, I don't know if it's allergies or if I'm getting sick, but my voice is just very raspy now. Emery just got done with lunch. Lane, you, thank you so much for helping me. You're welcome. And then the kids are gonna go outside after I'm done with feeding Ren, I'll go outside with them, but it is 90 degrees today. The boys have baseball tonight. It's gonna be so hot and I'm guessing very buggy. But we're gonna make the most out of it. I really hate to show you guys this, but all of this is clean. Yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> None of it is folded. I'm just trying to get my life together, you guys. But it's so dang hot out, I need to find shorts. Somewhere in here, I have shorts. Hey, what do you guys got? Ice cream. Ice cream? You're spilling all of your shirt, Bubba. Look, huh? yeah. Emmy, what do you have? Say hey, Emmy? Yeah. It's melting so fast, it's so hot out here. Hi, BB. I thought that was, I thought that was a chicken right there. Let's not drink it, okay? Ew. Yeah, let's just put your fishies in. Here, look, you put these in? Yeah. And put them in? Go. Good job. Now you can catch them with your net. Oh, more? Good job. Well, thank you. More fish? In a car? Uh oh. Here go. I see them here. You go put them in the water. Put them in. These little fans are the best invention. It is so dang hot out. But little girl, you're staying cool. Oh, We just got home from getting ice cream from the store, so she's still buckled in, but we're just going to relax out here on the front porch for a while. Are you excited for baseball tonight? Yeah, I am so excited for baseball. What happened your first night of baseball? What happened? You remember? No. Yesterday, we were supposed to go. What happened? It was raining hard. Mm -hmm. It was raining so hard. Their first night of baseball. What a way to start the season. It just started downpouring. Poor That's Ren was saying. crying so hard in the car because it was just so, like, coming down so hard on the car that she was freaking out. And, yeah, the boys were not excited that it got rained out. So tonight is technically their first night of baseball. T-ball, right? It's 20 to 4 now, and I usually start dinner around 5 o'clock. We're having leftover spaghetti because we had so much yesterday. We had my sister-in-law and her kids over, and we had plenty. So I'll put that in the fridge for tonight. Just an easy, easy dinner a, tonight. And they had a play over. Yes, they stayed and played. T-ball starts at 6.30, so we will head there for the night but i think i'm gonna close out the vlog now and thank you guys so much for watching if you love content from our family please hit that subscribe button like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys